in this episode, we go over some expected news that I said was going to happen and some news that I didn't think would happen this quick. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yo, welcome, welcome back to the Chris Tubbs Show. I am your host, Chris Tubbs. I am so happy that you guys are here watching or listening to me on any of the platforms that you guys are doing so on. You guys have been killing it. I am loving the feedback. Thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to me and hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I come out with a new podcast. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you to go to my Chris Tubbs store, my chrisTubbs.com slash store to get some of your own patriotic merch. I have hoodies, I have t-shirts, and hats are coming on the way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got some breaking news I want to go over. And there's two stories, two stories in specific that I want to go over. One is good, one is eh, eh. So we're going to go over the eh one first, and then we're going to go over the great news last, because I think it's going to go very, very well with what's going on right now. So breaking news. This just happened. I was on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. I was on Twitter, and I was driving home, and I saw this, that Maine has taken Trump off of the primary ballot. According to CNN, Maine's top election official has removed former President Donald Trump from the state's 2024 primary ballot in a shock decision based on the 14th Amendment's insurrectionist ban. Huh, we've heard that before, haven't we? Okay, to go on, Maine Secretary of State Shenna Bellows, that's a funny name, paused her decision pending a potential appeal in state court, which Trump's team said they intend to file. They were expecting this. That's what it sounds like. They knew that this was going to be coming. Hmm. Okay. So I want to go ahead and watch a video that is with Shenna and it talks about the Trump removal. Again, I am so mindful, and I, I said this in my decision, uh, that it is unprecedented. No secretary of state has ever deprived a presidential candidate of ballot access based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. But no presidential candidate has ever engaged in insurrection. It still hasn't. <laughs> That's the thing. Still hasn't. President Trump did not cause an insurrection. And we went over that in my other video talking about what Colorado did. Okay, let's continue with the video and been disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Obviously, this is for political gain. We know that, and it's very, very obvious. So why are the Democrats doing this? I think that's something that we need to go into, something that we need to explore, something that we need to really deep dive, investigate, because this is blatant. This is blatant. They are scared. The Democrats are scared. Why would they want to take Trump off of the ballot if they were not scared? This is so obviously blatant that they are scared. They are, they are wanting to get him off of the ballot because they understand the repercussions of Donald Trump getting back into the White House. And they are scared out of their minds. And this is what I enjoy. I enjoy seeing the Democrats, the left, just exposing themselves. They are exposing themselves. They are coming out and showing their true colors. They're showing their true colors. And it's not pretty. It is not pretty at all. So what do we do next? What do we do next? Because we know that Colorado did their thing. And now Maine has done their thing. But what was also awesome today, and it was kind of a bittersweet day, 
I'll give you that. It was a bittersweet day. We also saw the news that Colorado is going to include Trump on the 2024 ballot. Wow. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. Trump is winning. Trump is inevitable. He cannot be stopped, ladies and gentlemen. He can't. They know that he can't be stopped. So why did this happen? Why is it that Trump all of a sudden is now gaining victory in Colorado when it was pretty, pretty, uh, a pretty hard decision on them taking him off of the ballot? So let's go into this. This is on Fox News. On Wednesday, the GOP from Colorado filed an appeal with the U.S. Supreme Court after the state Supreme Court's decision to remove Trump from the primary ballot. Wow, that's amazing. That's great. Do you know why that's so great, guys? It's because the GOP did their job. Wow. Uh, we don't say that much, especially in the whole GOP in today's world. They don't do much. They do not do much. And if they say they're going to do something, it takes probably like six, eight months, not even. It takes years for them to get shit done. But wow, they acted fast on this and they said, no, we are coming after you. We are filing that appeal and we are going to win. Wow. So following the appeal, Colorado State, uh, Se the Secretary of State, Jenna Greswell, announced that she will include Trump on the primary ballot on January 5th certifi uh, certification deadline. Wait, unless the U.S. Supreme Court affirms the lower court's ruling or declines to take up the case. So this is all on the U.S. Supreme Court. But this is great news because guess what? The GOP did its job. It sounds like Jenna Griswold, she's scared. She understands what would happen if this doesn't go their way. It says Donald Trump engaged in an insurrection and was disqualified under the Constitution from the Colorado ballot, Griswold said in a press release. Oh, so she's not really backing down. She's just, she's just doing this because why? The Colorado Supreme Court got it right. The decision is now being appealed. Yeah, we understand that. I urge the Supreme Court to act quickly given the upcoming presidential primary election. You know, I think this was timed by the Colorado Supreme Court as close as they could to January 5th. They wanted to try to give Trump as little amount of time to get him off the ballot. So... This is great news. This is awesome news. And the reason why is because the GOP is doing their job. This is what we wanted them to do. This is what they do. They represent us. And here's the thing. If they took Trump off of the ballot, they would disenfranchise every single Republican voter. Do you know why? It's not because, oh, there's other candidates that can come in and we can vote for them. No. That's not it. It's because Trump is the leading GOP nominee. He is the leading GOP nominee. You can't do that. You can't do that. I don't care if it's Vivek that is taking off because he has 1%. That's not the point. You can't just take a person off, especially without going through due process isn't that funny the left they call out and they cry for due process whenever a black person gets shot by another white cop right they will call all of that out they will use the constitution to their benefit only when it goes to their side they're little kids man they they're very, very evil little tyrants. It's disgusting. And it's despicable. And I am tired of it. But I am so happy to see the GOP here in Colorado do its job. So, are we going to see Maine 
Are we going to see Maine's GOP pri uh, party take a stand against this bullshit? That's the main question. We've seen the GOP here in Colorado. I did not expect that step in and do their job. Are we going to see Maine do their job? Are we going to see them do what they are supposed to do? Are they going to protect the voters in Maine? We will see. But this is on you guys, ladies and gentlemen. This is on you. Every person in Maine that is a Republican should be calling up their GOP uh, the officials, their representatives, their donors, their the party. They should be calling them and they should be asking them to act upon them. What does that mean? And I mean that they should be going after this decision. They should take what Colorado has done and they should use the same blueprint and go after the leftists. This is a great lesson. This is a lesson for everyone. If you do not stand up for the truth, they will take an inch and they will go a mile. They don't care. They will do anything that they can to win. And I'm talking about the left. They will do anything that they can to win. And that includes cheating. We understand what happened in 2020. And we understand what they're doing now. They're bringing in caravans of people through the southern border. They're using our taxpayer money to give them free clothing, free housing, free money. Do you not think that they have a plan for that? There's a reason why they're doing that. We know it. We see through their bullshit. Guys, this is up to you. The people of Maine, on the right, conservatives, Republicans, I implore you to take action. Call up your representatives. Call up you, your primary officials, your, your Republican officials. Call them up. Email them. Get on the phone. Implore them to represent you. And take action against this bullshit that's happening. This is tyranny. The founding fathers stood up for tyranny. And because of that, we have this great nation. Benjamin Franklin said it's, it's a republic if we can keep it. So, I'm going to ask you. What are you going to do? Are you going to go and stand up for truth? Stand up for what is right? Or are you just going to sit back and not do a damn thing? There were so many people that I saw on Instagram that were commenting on this breaking news. And they were saying, oh, it doesn't matter. Colorado is a lost state anyway. Oh, it doesn't matter. Maine's going to just go away. It's not going to go in, in Trump's way at all. It's not going to go in his favor. That's not the point. That is not the point. <laughs> That's almost like saying, oh, I'll just go, I'm just going to continue wearing this mask. Oh, I'm just going to go get the jab. And I'm just going to go poke myself with this vaccine and we are going to just let this ride. No. Stop. That is the exact mindset that the left wants you to have. The mindset of, oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever I do doesn't matter. That's bullshit. If you have that mindset, you need to repent. You need to change your mind here. You need to stop what you're doing and change your ways. Because if you don't, the generations after you will suffer. It is our responsibility to keep this nation, this beautiful country, as free as possible. And it's not just for the people in this nation. It's for the world. If you don't know, America is the greatest asset that the world has we need to keep it as free as possible and if we don't i sincerely believe the world 
is going to suffer. That might be a lot of pressure. And I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of pressure on you. But at the same time, I am. Because you need to wake up. You need to wake up. You need to stand for truth. Stand for what is right. Think of the generations after you. Think about your kids. Think about your grandkids. Think about them. Think about the people that you care about most. This is for them. So we, we the people, we the people, just like on my hoodie right here, ladies and gentlemen, we need to stand up for truth. Just like if you stand up for truth, and it just like if you stand up for and support me, like that little segue, support me by buying a t-shirt, buying a hoodie. If you do that, you're going to help me continue to spread truth. That is what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to help people become free. I've been meditating and thinking about this the last few days, and I understand why. When we live in truth, we live in freedom. Do you know why? Because the truth will set you free. And that is what we are about. That is what America is about. That is what this nation was built on. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep our nation the greatest fucking nation in the entire world. It's worth it. And I get pumped. I get excited. I get passionate about this because it matters. This matters. Truth matters. Standing up for what is right matters. If you are wondering how to gain contact with your representative, you can go to the United States House of Rep Representative website. It's just house.gov. And you can look for your representative, type in your zip code, and they will go ahead and give you the information to contact your representative. Also, I would just type in, if you are on the right, just type in main GOP uh, party and see who is the leaders of your party. Contact them. Get in, involved with them. See what you can do to help. This nation is dependent on that. And we need to keep it that way. We need to keep it that way. So, ladies and gentlemen... If this has helped you, if this has given you value, I would love for you guys to go ahead and subscribe to me, hit that notification button, and I want you guys to also share this with as many people as possible. It doesn't matter if they are on the left or on the right. It doesn't matter. Send them this info. Send them this podcast. Send them my content, whether that's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble. It doesn't matter. I want you to send them this info, this content, because I am doing my best to bring truth as much as possible. So if you haven't already, go ahead and do that. You guys can also go to my patriotic merch store at christubs.com slash store. Get yourself a hoodie because it's dang cold out there. Get yourself a a t-shirt to represent these this great nation and also to help support me because we are building some amazing businesses organizations to go ahead and fight against this bullshit it's amazing we're building some curriculum my team and i and we're really pumped about it so ladies and gentlemen you guys are amazing and guess what we will see you in the next episode